So you look at two very complex surgical procedures. One's an abortion, one's a cesarean section. Both require a doctor, they require you know, medication, they require breakthroughs, but they have two completely different moral premises. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we'll be reacting to Charlie's Keck debate college student on science versus nature. Guys, let's get straight into this. Charlie. Hi. So I think this might be more of a point of clarification than a legitimate disagreement. So you started off your um, talk by saying that you oppose science insofar as it stands in the way of nature or it sort of rewrites nature, right? Is that like re an accurate representation of your point? Or? It, it, can, it can cause a lot of damage and not done under the proper moral framework. It's been one of the great killers of, of modern humanity. Obvious with, you know, there's been phenomenal breakthroughs in modern medicine, but continue with your question. Sorry. That was actually my question, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. well, there you go. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, I mean, you could take, for example, so let's kind of just go back to how science was administered through things that we take for granted, right? So, for example, Sir Isaac Newton, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. An object at rest will stay at rest. For every action is equal and opposite reaction. Right? He was a phenomenal Christian, wrote a lot about biblical prophecy, and looked at nature as a way to explore God's creation for an intended purpose. And so it's all a question yeah. of what is the intent, right? So I'll give you a great example. If the intent is to allow human beings to flourish, then I'm all for it. What's an example of that? How about a cesarean section? What an awesome medical breakthrough over the last hundred years. A cesarean section is, of course, a C-section, without getting too graphic, it's a way through medical intervention and progress to save human life with that intended purpose. Now, obviously, you know, you have to have an incision, you have to be able to, you know, have the proper, um, have the proper medication so that, you know, the, the woman doesn't feel it. It's the most common medical procedure now done in America today. And so I'm all for scientific breakthroughs and progress, but that's with the intent of saving a human life, right? Properly administered, a C-section is life-giving, right? When you look at other things, there is no life-giving nature to abortion. So you look at two very complex surgical procedures. One's an abortion, one's a cesarean section. Both require a doctor, they require you know, medication, they require breakthroughs, but they have two completely different moral premises. One to give life and one to take life away. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it does, and, and, and speaking of abortion, I did have a sort of separate question, sure. if you don't mind. Yeah. So you sort of spoke, you sort of touched on abor abortion from a moral or philosophical standpoint in your talk. Um, from a political or cultural standpoint, how do you see the, the debate playing out in the mid to long term? Um, who, do you, who do you think wins in the long term? That's a smart question. I, I, I've given this advice to conservatives, which is you have to be realistic about it. In certain states, in certain areas, it's not a winning issue. Maybe in a longer period of time, we could do our work and we could persuade people. But if you're trying to get political power or win an election, you've got to be realistic about whether or not you think that is going to win people over. And so some people say, Charlie, you should talk about the issue all the time. Well, then how are you ever going to get political power to actually fix the issue, right? I mean, at some point, you've got to be prudent about this. But I think the, the left is going to see a surge of support. I think that's going to happen. They're going to see a lot of money come in, a lot more activists. And then I think we as pro-lifers are going to get reorganized, see where we have to go. And I think we have to go on a multi-decade, multi-generation tour, campaign, project of getting into the deep mor mor moral and philosophy of it, entertaining questions, doing events. Because here's the one thing I could tell you is that most people that are pro-abortion have really not heard the best defense of life from a moral standpoint, a biological standpoint, and a scientific standpoint. But it's going to be a battle, man. And I think you're going to end up seeing kind of red state, blue state abortion centers across the country where California is poised to make abortion a constitutional right. And you're going to see a lot of that kind of interstate travel and all that kind of stuff. So that's my prediction. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I will ask this question. What do you think about abortion? I really want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Well, for me, I, I believe it's wrong. And then also someone told me, like, so most times why people want to abort is based on the fact that it's a mistake. But I don't think a child is a mistake. But let's say it happens and you really don't have the app capability of taking care of the child and you don't want to bring the child to the world so that it's still wrong. I, I really can't find a legitimate reason to say abortion is right. Like there is no reason. Even if you don't want a child to solve you can a child is still wrong if you don't for the rest of your life. And back to what he said, I believe that science and nature I believe when they work together it's amazing. To be honest. Like when 
so concerned to say we are animals and yes we are male and female and wow male and female come together reproduction takes place some people say before you can be intimate with the same sex like it does not make sense to me because based on the fact that we are animals so we follow what other animals are doing like we are all the same i cannot see a female goat saying she's a male goat like it does not happen you can see some animals with some characters of the opposite sex the way you can see some girls with the character of a male but does not make does not change who they are like you might feel this way but does not change who you are i can feel like i'm rich but does not mean ah no that came out wrong guys <laughs> please make sure to like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys